So let's talk about the seven-day creation plan, seven-day prophecy. Let's read this scripture, Isaiah 46, 9 through 10. God sa says, remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. how Moses and Joshua did not bring them into the rest that they were looking for. So going back to verse 8, for if Jesus had given them rest, or if Joshua had given them rest, then he would not have afterwards spoken of another day. There remaineth therefore a rest for the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, as God did from his. So let me boil it down. What that scripture is saying is, there is yet a day of rest that remains. There's a future prophecy that is to be fulfilled of this day of rest. What God was doing by resting on the Sabbath was indicating or prophesying to you and I that there is a 1,000-year rest period coming at the end of 6,000 years of work. Okay, that's what it's talking about. And listen, this is exciting. We know what must precede this 1,000-year reign of Jesus on earth. And what must precede this is the seven-year tribulation that comes before the 1,000-year reign. And what must precede the tribulation is the pre-tribulation rapture. Okay? So clearly, no matter how you slice the numbers, and believe me, you can easily get lost in the weeds with numbers and calendars and stuff. I like to do the keep it simple thing. We are the final generation, as Scripture declares. So if, if um, it's been, Jesus came around the 4,000 year mark, it's been about 2,000 years since then, and we know the 1,000 year rest is scheduled to commence very soon. This means the tribulation happens before that, and the rapture happens before that, which means, wow, we must be close. Let that be exciting and encouraging to you. So, listen, it is now time, time, it's time now to get excited because very soon the pre-tribulation -tribula rapture will occur, which will immediately be followed by the tribulation, which will end at the second return, the second coming of Jesus Christ, and he will rule and reign on earth for 1,000 years. That is huge, and it, we are so close. And... Um, we're, we're living in the last days, guys. This is an incredible time to be alive. And remember again, we do not place our faith and our hope in a date. We place our faith and hope in Jesus Christ. He is coming for us. He will keep his word. And we will continue here on this channel to consider possibilities. We will continue to think out loud about things and talk about things, being adults, and encouraging one another. Uh, we will continue to get excited about times that look interesting. And <clears throat> I'll never stop doing that because I'll never stop being excited about seeing Jesus. I'll never, ever not be excited about that. And I encourage you to never quit being excited about that as well. And listen, it's the last thing I'll say about it. The, the gatekeepers, the scoffers, the excitement police, they can huff and puff all they want, but they're never going to blow us down because our eyes are on Jesus. We're excited because of Jesus, and I do not care what any man says. I'm, I'm going to continue every time, every day to get excited about it and to consider things, and to look at things, and to encourage one another as we see that day approaching, like it says in Hebrews 10, 25.